Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a follow-up video to the one that I posted earlier today. Maybe that you guys can take notice of uh, just a couple things that are in the video. I had a question by one of my associates, and it was about the wiring that's located inside the unit. And you'll notice that the wiring colors that are coming out of the AC adapter or the AC input plate, they are blue and brown. And blue and brown are European color scheme. And he was wondering, is this a European unit? Why does it, why does it have those color wires? Well, one of the things that you guys should hopefully know is that the AC input plate on a lot of units is switchable. So you can switch it between 240 volt or 115 volt. And what you have to do is you have to make sure that the unit meets the wiring codes of the most stringent uh, application. So if it is wired to be in the European theater at 220 volts, then it has to have European 220 qualifying wiring inside the unit. So almost any unit that has replaceable power cords, and sorry guys, I'm driving by the way. Um, I drive out of Houston, which is known for its traffic. So I get the thinking, that's where I come up with the, all these videos and I was just thinking uh, maybe I should just kind of close this one out right now while I'm driving let's see how this format of video does and uh, anyway uh, back to the wiring code if the unit can be switchable to 220 volt and used in Europe it has to have at least European wiring code which is uh, it's got to have you know blue and brown wiring that's the most stringent since it is 220 volt so uh, the second question is um, if you look at the top of that giant capacitor that is located inside that um, that shaver unit look very carefully and you will see a rather large resistor sitting there on top of the capacitor and uh, I explained to one of my other associates today that the capacitor is not dangerous because that's a bleed down resistor and it's it's going to be a higher impedance resistor and when the capacitor is no longer being charged that bleed down resistor will slowly dissipate the charge of the capacitor until it's you know technically zero so that makes it safe because if you can imagine a capacitor that large you know, even at a lower lower voltage, that could be very dangerous because it's it's so much amperage if it if you ever short it out. So anyway, that's the two things I wanted to share with you guys. I know I'm I'm on the freeway and it's kind of crazy, but two things that you should know is that there was a bleed down resistor on top of that capacitor. So take a look at that video and you'll see it. And also the other thing that you should know is take a look at the wiring that's inside the unit and you'll see blue and brown. That would be your hot and neutral according to uh, European wiring codes. And if I remember correctly, brown is hot and blue is neutral. So remember that as well, all right? Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. I'm just making an update to an earlier video. That's all.